2023 Komen Michigan Race for the Cure, a yearly event that supports groundbreaking research and helps those facing breast cancer. And our Megan Woods is live on Belle Isle where people will be getting ready to run or even walk just to support those who've been affected by breast cancer. And Megan, I know you're wearing all pink under that big coat. Yes, I am. It's a little chilly out here, so if you come out here, yes, dress in layers. But the good thing is you still have time. Like you mentioned, 8 a.m. is registration. You can register online right now. I am here, and we are talking about just the excitement and everything. Right, Beverly? Yes. So you work for the organization, but you're also here volunteering, and you're a survivor. So yes. there's a personal aspect. How excited are you for today? I'm actually really excited. This is my first uh, race for the cure to attend as a survivor. Um, I've worked for Susan G. Komen for over 20 years, wow. and so I've been committed to our mission for a long time. My grandmother is a breast cancer survivor, and it became very personal to me um, when I was diagnosed last year um, around Christmas time. Wow. So this is really my first opportunity to come be around um, a community of women who have also been through the journey and just really find some strength with them. And then the community of people who come here to support that and help us further research, care, community, and action for us so that we can see an end to this disease. Yeah, and so I know you've been coming here year after year, volunteering year yes. after year. Even before your diagnosis, why do it? I know there's an aspect of your job, but why yeah. do it? You know, there's something that I can't describe that when you come to a race for the cure, the sense of emotional um, just satisfaction that you get knowing that you're making a difference. It's in the lives of people that you, you know. are with. Yes. Right? And you don't yeah. even have to know your neighbor, but you're making that difference because we've got our helpline, we've got our patient navigators, there's financial assistance for women that call. It's just this emotional satisfaction and the tears well up so quickly, especially when you see everybody getting ready to start the race and then they just are all walking through and then you just can't believe that so many people are here to make that same impact that you are. So mm. that's why I do it. It's just, I can't get away from that feeling and I, w I want more of it. Of course. And what's the message you have for other survivors out there who are, you know, they've never been to something like this? What can they expect? What's the advice you give them? Um, I think it's not so much advice as encouragement. encouragement yeah. I would encourage them to come to see what it feels like to be around people who know what you've been through and who can be a shoulder of support. You know, you don't even have to feel like you're in need of support, but when you get around this community of people, um, it's just unlike any other thing I've ever felt. So I, I do, I encourage you to just really embrace and then be there for others too. It's not just be there for you, but be there for others. Yeah. And it's a beautiful feeling. And giving back the support that you received. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So if you want to come out here again, registration begins at 8 a.m., but you can register online right now. And the ceremony starts at 9 o'clock. So you want to join in on this, uh, this fun and community. As right now, live from Belle Isle, I'm Megan Woods, Local 4. And it's always such a strong sense of community when you're talking to both survivors and the volunteers who are out for this race. All right, thank you, Megan. And I love the sea of pink, too. Oh, it's so gorgeous, cool especially with, on Belle Isle. I know, it looks so good, so good. Thanks, Megan.